class. Hope you all are safe. Children, today we are going to continue with the unit 3 that is digital documentation in which we are going to learn about how to enhance or how to edit the documents. So let's begin. All right, children. So uh, we have here the next uh, topic of word processor that is editing a document children editing uh, you all know uh, editing text means making correction to it and manipulating it in such a manner that uh, would lead to the desired output or you can see the result yes editing uh, may involve inserting deleting copying moving finding and replacing features as well so uh, yeah there are few more uh, things that you already uh, know that is undo redo these features that are uh, you know in uh, access toolbar quick access toolbar and these features again are used to make changes in your document these are the shortcut keys now uh, we have uh, a document that is uh, uh, editing a document i have created few paragraphs here uh, so that i can show you few changes how can we do that in the paragraph how can uh, we edit our uh, document yes few things are there again children that you need to understand there are few tricks rather i would say that we need to learn and that is very very convenient for us to understand and, and that is if we talk about uh, we see how to uh, select a particular word any word that we want supposing this is approved word i want to just uh, select it so i can just simply go here to the approved uh, word you can see my pointer here so i can just one two i have double clicked on this and you can see the word is selected and then if you want you can make a change in this selected word similarly if you have to select the uh, sentence you can just hold down the control key from the keyboard and you can just keep on selecting the words uh, you know in a sentence and uh, whatever and this way you can make changes in the uh, sentence or whatever you want so this is but you have to select uh, you have to hold this control key and use your pointer mouse pointer to select the sentence similarly if you have to select the paragraph see paragraph is here if i'm going here in the beginning of the paragraph my pointer is here i'm going to double click on this and uh, nothing will happen only first word is uh, has selected like i told you before now what i do is i'm going to go here i'm going to go one two and three you can see three when you go for the three clicks and you will see the whole paragraph is selected and you can change uh, the way you want in a paragraph okay then you have to if you have to select the whole uh, text in one go then you have to go to control and then you have to go to a and you will find whole document is selected now uh, if you uh, have to um, you know go for the editing one more feature that is copying and pasting or uh, moving your text from one place to another so simple way is there if i want to select this paragraph one two and three okay this paragraph is selected now i want to shift this paragraph somewhere else so i'm going to go to Control c okay and this is copy feature a shortcut key for that i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to new i'm going to go to blank document and i'm going to use my control v feature so you can see the paragraph has been shifted not shifted exactly it has been duplicated 
control c means copying means the uh, text will remain there also and it has been copied here also so this is called as the duplicacy with the help of control c and control v is just to paste okay i'm going to close it because i don't want to do this okay and then similarly if you have to use control x means to cut means moving the text so i am going to go for the same paragraph it has been selected already so i'm going to go to control x from the keyboard see the paragraph is not there so i am going to go down maybe or i can go to the some other document like i showed you just now so i can move down and i'm going to go here cursor is here i'm going to go again control v now my uh, same paragraph is here so this way you can use your control you, you know x for cutting and or moving you can say and control c for copying the data now coming to the most important feature one more again that if you have to make any changes and if you or maybe uh, you find out there are some spelling mistakes in your document and uh, you have not changed it or maybe supposing here i can make uh, maybe this is this is i'm okay i'm going to make a mistake in this okay so i'm going to go for this um okay i don't know but this is a word somewhere there's a mistake so this is word is underlined so i'm going to go to this word i'm going to uh right click on this i'm going to find out which word do i want i wanted this pound word so i have replaced with pound similarly if you have a mistake in between maybe grammatical mistake it is going to show you uh, that also with the help of the underline so wavy underline you will find it out and wavy underline if it is in the green that means there is a grammatical mistake maybe comma is not appropriate you know there is a gap between the two words uh, more gap you have or any grammatical mistakes you'll find it out there's a uh, gap in full stop and the word so it is going to show you that similarly if you have red underline that means there is a uh, spelling mistake so you can make correction accordingly now coming to the most important part one more important part very 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 easy to understand but how we can do that and that is find and replace so what do we have to find in this document i'm going to go to find okay and this is in home tab only so what do i have to find in my document maybe i have to find symbol word s y m b o m okay if i go and find out symbol word there's no symbol word okay i'm going to go back i'm going to go to sign word okay so you can find out the sign word in my document um, is also highlighted that means i have this word has been found by my word processor i'm going to replace this word okay so this is find what so we have found sign word i'm going to replace this word with what i'm going to write it here now as symbol m b o m now i'm going to replace all means wherever the word sign is it is going to be replaced by the word symbol okay replace all so all done we have made four replacements okay fine that's good so i'm going to go and close now you can see in the document wherever the word sign was now that has been replaced by the word symbol 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 so this is how you can use your find and replace uh, feature also uh, for finding a word in a large document and replacing by uh, replacing that particular word with some other word so these are the features that we have learned today and next time i'm going to tell you some more features that's all for today dear children i hope you understood the topic well and if you have any query you can drop that query in the google classroom so children take care of yourself god bless you